up for sale from Redvale RV is this freshly traded 2005 Aldis Firestorm 630 Barons Edition. This caravan has just arrived at the yard and as such we put a brand new warrant of fitness on her and a fresh registration. Both the electric and gas certs are about one year old. Now this caravan is in used order and as such we've priced it accordingly. It's got a couple of bumps and bruises around it as to be expected with most 2005 caravans. It is ready to hit the road for the new owner. Purpose of this video is I'm gonna go around the caravan end for end and I'm gonna point out any marks or defects that the caravan has. So if you can't make it here to our yard in Redvale, you've got a good idea of exactly what this caravan's like. This caravan in the past probably three or four years has had a brand new set of e-move motor movers fitted to it. So that would have been about two and a half thousand dollars um, to have those fitted which essentially means this caravan can drive itself around with the use of a remote control. So if you've got a tight spot you need to park this caravan in, or a steep driveway that you're not comfortable reversing up, this caravan can do it electronically with the use of wheel electric motors attached to the chassis. It also comes with a full room awning. We don't erect the awnings here on site, so we cannot guarantee the condition of them. However, it does come with an awning, so just think of that as a freebie. This caravan's eight meters long end to end and weighs 1430 kilos. So most vehicles can tow it comfortably. It is a braked trailer. It does require the special 50 mil high rise tow ball, which we have here in stock and we can fit to your vehicle for you if you do not have one of those fitted already. This is super easy to tow. It does have the benefit of having a window at either end of the caravan. So in the tow vehicle, you can see right the way to the rear. So it's good when you're towing along motorways, you actually see if there's people behind you. Now I'm gonna start going around and giving out a condition report. Then we're gonna jump on in and I'm gonna point out all the appliances and things like that and any marks or anything on the interior that you'd need to know about. Starting at the front end here, you can see that the uh, sign writing that says Firestorm is most certainly faded. It's been out in the sun since new and it would have been dark blue, which is now light blue. The plastics at the front do have some scratches and bruises on it and there is some fatigue marks in the plastic. The windows are all in good order there. The sun, the sun faded though on the black outline. Over this side here, we've got some scratches and as you can see there, small fatigue marks in our plastic. That does not affect, uh, it is more cosmetic than anything. Over to the drawer bar here, the plastic drawer cover is in good order. There are some cracks in places like that though, but most of these covers here, the plastic covers are ruined by this age, so this one is still holding up pretty good. It is fitted with the anti-sway tow hitch there does have a handbrake. This caravan does have the ability to charge its battery off the tow vehicle as well. Um, it is all wired for that and you can run the fridge of this caravan off the tow vehicle if you're going for a long trip. We're going to come down to this side here but once again our sign writing is faded. The paintwork is actually still all in pretty good order. A couple of pin dents here and there but this side here there's really nothing of note. Window is in, both windows are in good order. We do have sun fading on things like our Plastic external lockers. Down here the tyres are in really good order actually. Plenty of tread on them. Here you can see the e-move motor mover there. So that is how you drive the caravan remotely. So I'm just going to try and zoom the camera out as much as I can. It is tightly packed in the yard here. As you can see there is a little bit of uh, black streaks on the white paint there, so it could do with a buff cut if you were really particular. And behind there, that is our toilet cassette, it does have on board uh, black water. We're going to come around to the back of the caravan. The bumper itself is in good order, although we do have a chunk taken out of the rear window here, but that is just cosmetic. The seal runs along there, so that is more of a look thing so you can get a plastic welder to put a corner on that window is still very comf uh, very functional once again faded sign writing faded high stop light there this tail light down here does have a crack in it 
And there are some marks and stuff on the bumper, but it is all just cosmetic. I'm gonna go around to this side here. Once again, it's pretty straight. Pretty straight, we've got so faded uh, sign writing. Paint's in pretty good blooming order. A little bit, some black streaks here and there on the paintwork, which would buff cut out. And a very few minor pendants. All windows on this side are in really good order, as is the tyre. You can see down here, we do have some paint scratched off here where the step has been sitting against and people have been getting in and out of it. Once again, tyres on this side in lovely order. We're just gonna check out that chassis. And look at that, chassis is in lovely order. Spare tyre under there and we've got a really nice solid floor. It does come with the Outdoor Revolution full room awning there. As you can see it's 2.8 long, 2.2 wide. We have not put this awning up, so think of it as a freebie. Jump on in. We have put it through our workshop to test out our appliances and things like that, and I'm going to get to that shortly. It's electrical wire and a fitness. It's actually, it's only four months old. I apologize, the electrical wire and a fitness is only four months old. How are we going to step on in? It is carpeted throughout, and the carpet does have stains and marks, although there are no holes in it. There's me, hi. We step straight in to our mid kitchen, mid bathroom. This sleeps six adults in comfort. Mains power switch is here, which turns on our 12 volts. This has a used battery in it, not a new battery. If you want a new battery, we can have a new deep cycle battery installed in this for around $500. Plenty of storage above, nice kitchen, plenty of space here. Kitchen countertops in good order. Got our sink under here. This is our motor movers controller, so this is how you drive the caravan. Our set of keys. We're going to go along. Hot, cold tap there. Four burner gas hob, all in working order. We've got a gas oven and grill. And to our left here, we've got a gas and electric fridge. This fridge here runs on LPG or mains power or off the tow vehicle's battery. And it has a wee freezer box up the top there. And that is all in working order. Over to our gas hob. Four burner gas hob. Gas grill, gas oven, all in working order. It is missing the rear. It's got like a pots and pans area here. And there is a door missing for that area. It is actually under that seat there. It would just be new, need to be remounted. Up to the front lounge here. Now this area here can be folded to make a queen bed and you sleep that way. Or you can use it as two single beds. We do have a skylight above our head. I've just got the shade closed at the moment to keep the glare out. All windows are double glazed. The caravan is fully insulated. I'm going to swing back round. Plenty of storage in here. Below the seat here we've got an onboard LPG or electrical water heating system. And we go along to here and we have an LPG room heater. As you can see, we've got a crack in the plastic along the top here. This runs on LPG only. So the room heating is LPG. We come down to the rear room. Now this is where the kids would be. It could be used as twin singles or twin bunk beds. So you remove all these cushions and a bunk folds up there, a bunk folds up there, and you can sleep four kids down here, or adults if you wish, and there is a Constantina door that closes that area off. That Constantina door is very stuck on its tracks, but it does close, and you can shut the children out. Storage above and below both of these rear seats. Now, any of the upholstery that's seen the sun has fading on it. The blue is faded. Each window is fitted with blackout blinds and fly screens. From memory, all of them are in working, are in working order. And to our left here, we have a shower and toilet combination room. Onboard cassette toilet. Now, this vanity door here, the side, the mirror does not stay closed. The sun has faded the plastics in here. It is all very usable condition, but it is sun faded. 
All right, so also I want to point out, you can see the carpet. The carpet does have marks in it. This caravan has a lot of peeling fake wood. Such as up here, see the fake wood is peeling on nearly every cabinet. Keep that in mind. This caravan is not new. Do not expect it to be new. It is priced accordingly. As we can see, things like the fake wood is just peeling off. So you can get in there with some adhesive stuff and, and re-glue it up. It's in really good working order. It's a good, solid, dry caravan. It's going to make a family very happy. But it is certainly in used condition. And as I always suggest coming to view it, However, I've done my best to cover everything off on this video. So here at Red Vale RV, we are open by appointment only. Just give us a call on the number of the listing or jump on our website, www.redvalerv.com. We can also arrange the fitment of things such as solar, self-containment certifications. We can put extra batteries in it. We can put extra fridges in it. We're kind of a one-stop RV shop. We can also arrange insurance and we accept trade-ins. Whether it be a car or a camper or a caravan, you just let us know. Thank you so much for watching.